there's a connection to the night sky that those city dwellers don't really appreciate. And it's hard to describe. Back when I was like six years old, early 1950s, my older brother Paul took me out in the backyard and showed me the night sky. That's where I fell in love with astronomy. I'm Mike Wiesner. I live in Oracle, Arizona. I'm an amateur astronomer and have been for many, many decades. And I certainly enjoy the opportunities to participate in the things in the night sky. This is my man cave. Um, a lot of astronomy books are in here. You'll see lots of various pictures and other space-related paraphernalia in here, as well as some of my flying stuff when I was flying in the Air Force. Well, I was a teenager back in southern Indiana. Uh, my mother gave me a telescope for Christmas in 61, and pretty quickly I decided I wanted to take pictures of this telescope. So I used her little roll film cameras and mounted it up on the telescope and started taking pictures of the moon uh, and what I could of some planets and things with that simple little telescope. So it's been my passion for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> From a dark sky location like Oracle, you can actually see quite a bit of detail just by looking up with your eye. This photograph is one of the ones I like to do. Here's my telescope, obviously, but the telescope is actually looking at the moon. And the moon's image is being projected out of its eyepiece onto the dome of the observatory. I have fun taking those kinds of pictures. I document things that I see in the telescope for Several reasons. Primary is because I want to share that with people and let them see kinds of the types of things they could see if they were to look through a telescope, theirs or mine. Um, but I also want to share the fact that they can also do those kinds of pictures. So the fact that I'm doing it with very basic equipment should let them know that they can do the same thing. What star in the sky is brighter than Sirius? But there aren't any. Not visually. Well, okay. But I teach this course, Beginner Digital Astrophotography, out at the park. And I show people how they can use the equipment that they have to take pictures of the night sky, whether it's with their digital camera or with their smartphones. Oh, yeah, now I see it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's, a little, it's a little moon. Yeah. I didn't realize how many things there were up in the sky till I got down here, because up in Oregon, unless we're over in the desert in eastern Oregon, you can't really see things. But here you can see the Milky Way. I used to see that when I was a kid. I haven't seen it for decades. By the early 2000s, I'd made the switch totally over to using digital cameras of various models. But I'm also using an iPhone for a lot of my astrophotography. So if you have a smartphone, you can do some of these same kinds of pictures. You can actually mount this on a tripod by taking this piece off. And so this little piece right here up, up would mount on a tripod kind of like that. The camera of the iPhone sees what your eye would see if you were looking through the telescope with just your eye. So you're taking a picture of what you would see. The objects in the night sky are beautiful to look at. Uh, and being able to capture pictures and show those to your friends, uh, say, hey, I took this picture, is kind of neat. So I want people in the audience and people out in the community to be able to have that same kind of joy that I've got. If it's clear, I am usually in the observatory day and night. I, I do stuff in the, with the sun in the daytime occasionally. I may be out here for 20 minutes or eight hours depending upon the weather and tonight we have some clouds so I'm not gonna be out here for very long. We have a nice little crescent phase of Venus tonight. Getting this word out about our dark skies in this area and in other places around the world, uh, it's important because people need to step back from their daily lives and go out and experience this night sky culture that's been part of the human existence for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. <laughs>